A woman was attacked today as she was walking into work at Carta downtown. She was burned when her attacker threw an unknown liquid into her face. Now she's hospitalized and four others received minor injuries. Our Natalie Potts and Caitlin Chastain have been following the story today. Natalie begins our team coverage live from Wilcox Boulevard where the incident happened. Natalie. Hey, David and Cindy. Well, more than 15 Chattanooga Fire Companies responded to this scene this morning, along with hazmat crews who shut down neighboring roadways. Officials now saying that liquid used in the attack has not yet been identified. It's been sent to a lab for further testing. It appears that the victim was targeted. There is one victim that has serious injuries. Police are looking for the person who attacked a group of CARTA employees early Tuesday morning. Investigators say the group was walking into work together around 7 a.m. when it happened. The five victims are um, employees at CARTA. They were coming in to work and the unknown suspect approached the group where uh, the main victim uh, had the substance thrown on her. Fire officials say the woman who had the unknown liquid thrown into her face suffered serious burns and four other employees were injured when the liquid substance splashed or sprayed them too. All five victims were taken to an area hospital for treatment. A spokesperson for CARTA tells Channel 3 no routes were affected as a result of the attack. Police believe this was an isolated incident and say there's no threat to any passengers. CARTA officials added they are doing everything they can to support each other at this time. They say the victims are in their thoughts and have the company's full support moving forward. It appears at this time that it would be an aggravated assault. Um, as we go through the investigation, we'll determine with the district attorney's office if other charges are appropriate. Now, we are told that the woman who was seriously injured is still in the hospital tonight with non-life-threatening injuries, and the suspect is still at large. Police are right now in the process of reviewing surveillance video that captured this incident on camera. Of course, anyone with information that can help investigators is asked to call Chattanooga Police. Reporting live in Chattanooga, Natalie Potts, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.